very much. Well, three Valonia High School seniors are breaking a record at the Faulkner County Fair, competing together as the first unified athlete team in the show ring. Yeah, one of the seniors, Emily, was diagnosed with a rare disability. She's been defying the odds doctors set for her. Yeah, Madison Gaffner went to the fair earlier today and joins us now in studio. Madison, Emily is winning ribbons with very little help from her unified partners. That's right, Gary and Jessica. Everyone is so proud, but also thankful for Felonia creating the FFA Unified Program this year, helping to allow opportunities for Emily and all disabled students to find their love for agriculture. It was hard, and, but I did it. Emily Prosser was born with a rare syndrome known as Williams Syndrome, a rare genetic condition that only one in every 10,000 people have. It affects physical features, delays in cognitive development, and in some cases, cardiovascular problems. But above all, Emily hasn't let it define her. We are so proud of her. Bologna High School Future Farmers of America created a unified team this year for disabled students like Emily. But Emily needed help. That's where Ansley Garner and Rachel Barker came in as her guide. This brightens up every room that she's in and the showroom. Working hard as they prepare the goats, chickens, and rabbits for showtime at the Faulkner County Fair. Ansley getting to do the honors of guiding her in the show ring, where it all paid off. To see her be able to get reserve champion with her dough that she walked was amazing. Whether she walked away with a ribbon or not, Emily would be breaking the show ring norms. And be the first unified in a ring with a goat is it means a lot. Her mother, Carrie Prosser, unbelievably proud of her daughter for the responsibilities she has learned, but also for following her passions. FFA, agriculture is going to be her life. I mean, that's right. Yep. Emily will get to compete at the Arkansas State Fair beginning October 11th. She has also created a company, Goats on the Go, so she can continue taking care of her beloved goats and share them with all of you after she graduates from high school. Reporting in studio, I'm Madison Gaffner, Fox 16 News. She's definitely